Hello and welcome back. I want to show these finished projects that I'm working on. Um, two elves I was doing around Christmas time. I finally finished up. Uh, here's one of them with the detail. Hopefully you can see that clear enough. Uh, from the last video I had to go around and the lines that weren't uh, uh, the paint was like the white was over the red. I went back and repainted it, the white, then the then the red, then the white until I got it to where I want it. It says back, side, base, and you can see his belt. What's nice is add a little detail. Take the time to add a little detail on your projects. <clears throat> it makes them look nice. Same with the face. So that's that one. And you can see there's a antiquing or a staining that I did on this too. I'll show you how to do that. And here's the other little elf. And these are for my daughters. <laughs> Finally finished up their Christmas present for last year. But here's his back. These are all my designs and everything. Another thing that I want to make sure that you know about is signing your piece. On these, I carved my initials in them. And that's that one. And I also have the whale. You can see here the big blue whale. Actually, it's a uh, Here's the center parts that uh, had the most detail. So I got two fish and Jonah's and Jonah there, and uh, they're in the belt of the well. And you can see the detail, and I did staining on this. And also, I carved. Uh, places back here to hang it on the wall so you don't need anything metal. I carved my initials, signed my name for this folk art piece and you can see this kind of stain back here. So how to do this staining and antiquing is what I wanted to really show you. Uh, you need some oil paint. I use this burnt umber and you squeeze out about oh, an inch of burnt umber and mix it with this boiled linseed oil and you can get this in a paint supply store or craft store or whatever this has a real long shelf life I've used this for quite a few years now and of course, so does the oil paint. So you mix them together, and then I get a um, a brush that's kind of like the, those real cheapy sponge brushes. You go around the piece, and then at the end I have a real clean uh, cotton cloth that I wipe down, and then I let them set off and dry. I will at the very end put like a some uh, furniture polish on my hands and rub these guys down as the final thing that I do. Um, but one thing about the um, antiquing, make sure that your paint is dried. You don't want to do it too quickly because you can rub the paint off. But once you got it done, pretty nice and these were nice projects hope you learned something from them about uh, finishing your project but they, these come in real handy burnt umber and boiled linseed oil and I hope you have fun on your project hope you learned something here 
And so these are finished. Done and complete. Have a nice day. Bye.